on a delta in the river's mouth. We were born again out of the south. Songs of the few from an ancient herd are buried in the mud and blood and dirt. Hey guys, so we're here at the dam. We're gonna get this stuff carried down. I got some uh, bait transferred over so make it easier to carry. Got some rods. And I'm going to meet uh, Paul with Paul Catches Them All down here. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Feels like it. He's got me down and stuff. Let's see, there we go. It's just cut bluegill. Oh, there he goes, he pulled in. But he's not a very big one, a little channel cat. Hey, not bad, dude. Little channel cat. I've got cut bluegill on. Paul, from Paul Catches Them All. He on? is, uh, he's got some live on his. He caught a flathead before I got here. And, uh, uh, we were supposed to be here at the same time. Right? Yeah, we were supposed to be here at the same time. I was, was an hour late. That was, the plan. that was the plan. We had a plan. So I got this channel cat here. He's about, I don't know, two or three pounds. Cat? We'll let him go back and uh, see if we can catch something else. That's, I need to ask that gentleman if he wants these catfish. Yeah. Hey, I didn't even think about it. You want some of these catfish I catch? Yeah, you want them when we catch them? I had a feeling that was either a gar or a little channel cat, the way he was, he kept messing with it forever. Finally hooked this hill. Man, this sand is gonna, I'll have to take my reels apart again tonight. Right. Another channel cat. We're gonna give him to the gentleman down here. He's keeping some to eat. Pretty nice fish. I'm going to show you this reel. This is what we're using today, and I wanted to test it out. This is an Ozark Trail 5000 series. So I had to replace a rod that my son broke, um, trying to get unhung. And it was the uh, Cat Daddy, um, Lou's Cat Daddy from uh, Academy. And this thing cost me $19 and some change. And so far, I've had pretty good luck with it. So, you know, you don't have to have really expensive reels to uh and and equipment to catch catfish and catch big catfish this uh this is a tsunami r and r tsunami i got from academy a long time ago and none of this stuff costs very much money so you can get into catfishing pretty cheap so we're going to continue to use this and uh see how it performs um it seemed to be doing okay so far and then i've got this uh other one over here a lose cat daddy and uh, it's still, it's still working pretty good.
Another channel cat. The channels are biting. I can't keep them out of the sand though. Cat. I was wondering why he couldn't take it. He'd been hooked for a minute, wrapped himself all up. I was waiting on a big fish to take it down and he just couldn't take it down. Well, it's a channel cat kind of day. And I can't hold on to him. It's a sandy channel cat kind of day. There you go, another channel cat. All right guys, so what we're using today is I just have on this five ounce seeker on a little slide I made with some beads and a swivel. It's 20 pound main test with a 50 pound leader. And then I've got a seven aught circle hook and a peg float and I'm putting cut bait on it. Now the other rig I've got, I've been fishing with cut bait. I think what I'm gonna do is remove the peg float and I'm gonna throw out some live bait, see if we can get on a, a bigger fish. Stick around. He ain't pulling me this time. Oh, dude, Hook that's, that's even fun. <laughs> sorry, guys. Well, I'm making sure you're hooking it. No, oh, I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> I can. I can even myself. Go ahead and catch a small right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, it's a Arkansas River Blue Cat. Let's get a weight on him. Yeah. Let's get a weight. Let's let it lock. Again, it's just a dollar for every time. Alright. 12, 8, 4. So almost 13 pounds. Oh, dude, you're about to lose your rods. <laughs> Here, let me here. Oh, you know. <laughs> I think I need to get around here. Good reaction. <laughs> it's a gore. <laughs> and he just grabbed that other one. Oh, he broke it. Oh. So, Paul <laughs> saved my rod, and uh, the gar broke me off. Paul catches them all, caught my rod and reel. So apparently he does catch them all. There's, oh yeah, that'll be plenty. Those are great size too. All right. Those are what we're wanting. That's what they're feeding on. So perfect. We've got enough bait. So I'll reel one of these in and put some shad on it and see how that does. So I converted this little minnow bucket and just put my little cheap pump on it. That ought to keep them alive for a minute. We'll see what happens. So we're just gonna put one of these shad on. He's semi-alive. So I think I've got too many in that bucket. But uh, we're gonna put him on cast him out there and see if maybe maybe uh they'll like that shad better we seen them busting out there after shad while ago so we'll see it's a yeah so this thing just about pulled my another rod in the water on this shad let's see i think i'm in a paul's line maybe 
I was over there messing around. A big gar. A big gar. He broke. Ah. Uh, they get those teeth up above my leader, and there's not much I can do about it. That thing had a long bill on it. Man, I hate those things. <laughs> I absolutely hate gar. That gummit. All right. Well, he broke me off above my leader, and I had a pretty good sized leader on it. But man, my line's rough like another foot up where his teeth got in it. All right, well, I'm gonna tie back on. Oh yeah, what we got here? Jumping. Feels like a town cat. Yep. Another channel cat. Can you get out of them? Uh, get him out from here that rock. I ought to be able to lift him. Whoop, he popped off. Quick release. <laughs> well, I would show you the channel cat, but I uh, quick released him. People have been bank fishing down here and leaving their trash. So, I always bring a Walmart or in this case, Dollar General bag and try to carry this crap out with me. Guys, if you fish public waters and you bank fish, you know, carry your stuff with you. This is, this is ridiculous. I mean, stuff gets in the rivers, you know, it just trashes things up. I mean, let's be good stewards. I mean, you've got an opportunity to uh, go fish. It was heavy when you carried it in. You emptied it. Now you're not carrying it out. I mean, come on, people. I know you have freedom, but uh, let's uh, let's do better. I can't possibly pick all this up with this bag. I'm gonna have to start carrying a uh, another mox. I'm gonna start carrying a daggum 30 gallon trash bag to pick people's stuff up. I hate to see these waters trashed. Have some pride and respect for yourself. I mean, you wanna find a quick way for them to shut down public access, this is it. This is the stuff that keeps us from uh, being able to fish. Take your stuff home with you. All right, so it's 9.30, it's already like 90 something degrees. I think it was five channel cats that blew and hung a couple of gar. So it wasn't a bad day. I was there from six till 9.30. So three and a half hours and uh, ended up catching a few fish. They completely shut the water off at one point. We changed for that last fish. Um, I changed locations and caught that one. And uh, that was it. Um, not enough water current. Um, it just, just wasn't happening so should have been there a little bit earlier but it wasn't i appreciate you watching stay tuned for more videos